We are Strawberry Jammer from Northrop Grumman. We're based out of Aurora, Colorado, and we work in Northrop Grumman's Autonomous Intelligence and Robotics Laboratory. I'm Justin Kopes, the team lead. I'm Nathan Harmon, an AI developer. And we also have Matt Popovich, Kayla Straub, Austin Alberts, and Michael Hansen. So we've been part of the Autonomous Intelligence and Robotics Lab for the last couple of years, doing some different internal and contractually funded uh, research and development opportunities. This challenge kind of aligned with what we were trying to accomplish with that, but it actually takes it to another level. We had previously been working in the application of applying deep learning to RF signal processing. That's basically just understanding what's out in the spectrum. This competition takes that a step further by not only understanding what's in the spectrum, but also understanding how to interact with the peers in the spectrum. I think a lot of what we're trying to go for is developing game-changing technology though, especially such that we can apply it to DOD and intelligence community applications. Artificial intelligence as a concept is a revolutionary technology that has reinvented the state of the art across many domains. Northrop Grumman's strategy for applying this technology, especially in missionized applications, um, is part of where we're trying to move forward to. Over the last decade or so, there's been a lot of advances in the machine learning and artificial intelligence domain as well. And this is really due to improved uh, processing architectures and algorithms. And that really lends the intelligent aspect of SE2, which is necessary for the networks to work together. Interacting with a lot of agents in the spectrum is a really complex problem. They're coming, they're going, they're changing their objective. There's a, a lot of components to these competitions, especially when you start bringing the number of competitor radios into the environment, and they all have their own behaviors, and trying to define a hard set of rules that will actually quantify all of these interactions is basically impossible. And so we've really chosen to go towards artificial intelligence to actually learn these patterns and learn how to interact with these other agents. And when you get a lot of different groups of people, you're gonna have a lot of confliction in the RF domain. A lot of times you can deconflict as far as you and your allied forces, but when it comes to just the civilian presence that's already there, as well as the hostile forces, there's not a good way to do that with the current setup. And that's where the Spectrum Collaboration Challenge can really shine. It shows how intelligent networks can start up in some unknown environment, learn about the other peers in that environment, and then establish a resilient communications network without disrupting those other occupants. The real essence of SC2 is being able to integrate into an existing environment without causing large disruptions. And that really involves understanding what your actions are going to do to other agents in that environment. And that's just a really hard problem. The main approach is making a really adaptive radio system. We're trying to learn as much as we can about the environment such that the decisions that we make in the spectrum impact the other occupants as little as possible. So on the team, we have quite a few different skill sets represented. I'm electrical engineer. We also have software engineers, communications engineers. What's unique about Strawberry Jammer is we can reach across and leverage the skills and resources of the larger Northrop Grumman. And that gives us the opportunity to kind of design an entire end-to-end -end system such that we can accelerate the adoption of this technology and get it into the warfighter's hands as quickly as possible. We made a strong adaptive dynamic radio, but our true focus has been on the decision-making process and how you integrate artificial artificial intelligence into that and how you become a good collaborator. So artificial intelligence will get you a long way, but it can't read the minds of the other competitors. By utilizing collaboration, it allows us to share information between the teams in order to actually plan out what the future of the spectrum should look like. Collaboration currently works based off of having fixed spectrum allocations. This is essentially how a human would collaborate in the spectrum. There's a lot of inefficiencies with this, and SC2 shows how intelligent systems can collaborate together and create a more dynamic and optimal solution. Winning SE2 requires artificial intelligence. Since the state space is so large and the environment is so dynamic, you need novel solutions to be able to interpret and adapt to the rapidly changing environment. SE2 has really proved that intelligent networks can share the spectrum as a resource. And as our warfighters go into these contested areas where they need to collaborate with allies and not disrupt the civilian forces there, this is going to really revolutionize how they interact. That looks just like us. Are we holding this guy? I guess we're done, right? That's it. <laughs>